Hey guys, welcome back to the app. For today's video, we are going to show you or discuss with you how to fix scepter monitor flickering. So if you're interested, let's start tutorial. Now if your scepter monitor here is flickering, there are a few things that you can do here to hopefully solve this problem. So in this case, we need to do a few troubleshooting. So just to give you an example here, I have a bunch of photos here of a scepter monitor and also a back of your PC or a, a possible look of the back of your PC. So the first thing you want to do is you want to make sure that your scepter monitor is properly plugged in into your PC. So that includes checking the actual connector. Like for example, if you're using HDMI, you want to go ahead and make sure it's properly connected into the HDMI port here. So what I mean properly plug in, make sure it's all the way in when you plug it into your PC. Also vice versa, you want to make sure that the cord or, H H or in this case HDMI cord is properly plugged in on your monitor. Now sometimes just a loose connection here can cause this problem. Now another thing that you could do here is you might want to change your HDMI cord. Now sometimes the cord itself uh, can be the problem especially for older types of HDMI cords. So if you have an old one you might want to get a new one and see if that hopefully fix your issue. Now if that doesn't solve the issue another thing that you could do here is to basically try a different monitor for now. So for example, if you have a different brand of monitor, so if you have an old monitor, you want to go ahead and plug it in and see if it's still working. Now, if the motor is not working here, it means that the problem itself is the motor. So you might want to reach out to Scepter's uh, customer service and see if you can get a refund, especially if the uh, actual monitor is printing you or brand new. Or in this case, you might want to reach out to a technician if you don't have a warranty on it. Now, another thing that you could do here is you could actually try using a different port on your PC. So for example, if you're using one port only here, if you have an extra port here that you could use or HDMI port that you could use, you can go ahead and plug it in in that port and see if that solves the issue. Now, if using the HDMI port is not working, another thing that you could do here is to try the other ports that is available here. Now, this is just an example. I'm just going to zoom in in here. So let's go ahead and move around here. So as you can see on a monitor here, there are going to be a bunch of ports that you could use. So if you're using HDMI here, you go ahead and you uh, you can go ahead and start using that. But if that if you're getting your flickering mo uh, flick your monitor is flickering, well, what you do is you use other ports. So we, oh, we have this wide port here, which is going to be the DVI port. So this is an older version of a port here. So before, instead of HDMI and display port, you could use this for uh, your uh, video output. But in order for you to use this one, you need to use a, an especially uh, special type of port uh, adapter. Or if you have a cord in your home, you could go and use that. But you need to have a DVI cord that actually translates uh, into your, um, in this case, your, uh, we call this, uh, this, uh, your PC here. So in this case, uh, if you like, for example, if you don't have a display for uh, DVI in here, you need to get a converter in order for to use that. But the easiest way for you to start using other ports here is to basically use the display port here, which is most PC right now actually have. So sometimes the actual port is going to be the problem. So using a different port can actually solve this issue. So yeah, those are the things that you could do here to uh, probably solve this issue but in this case uh, that's about it so hopefully this video was able to help you like and subscribe but see you later thank you for watching